Hello everyone and welcome to another Forest Schools episode. Today I'll be talking about how English trees have evolved. It will be interesting to see how the English tree has evolved and how humans have altered the landscape. It all began when trees started taking over the barren tundra of UK and Ireland. This was about 10,000 BC in the last glacial period. This place was called Doggerland, where the last ice age was ending and England was connected to mainland Europe. However, 8,200 years ago, a massive release of water from the North American glacier paired with a tsunami caused by a submarine landslide off Norway caused Doggerland to shrink. Due to the shrinking of Doggerland, the locals had to move to higher ground to what is now the UK and the Netherlands. While all this was going on, the trees started migrating north. Where there once was a big ice sheet is now beautiful luscious fields where they can grow. The first trees to start migrating north were aspen, birch and swallow. They ran rampant for a very long time until 8500 BC when birch got replaced by pine and hazel. With this, then oak and alder soon followed along with the rest of them. However, due to this massive growth, it didn't allow for some trees to move northwards. Beech and lime are some of them. During this time, alder was one of the only trees to make it to now what we call island before it was cut off by the sea, leaving it mostly alone. When the lime trees arrived in 7300 BC, there was stability in the climate, all until 4500 BC when the trees stopped migrating. These were then called the wildwoods. The only evidence where the wildwoods were not present were on coastal cliffs and heights above 600 metres. Now time to introduce the humans. The Stone Age happened around 3100 BC and we needed space for farming. So we did what we do best, and we cut the trees down. However, cutting the trees down with stones is quite hard. Now, trying deforestation with a stone axe is quite difficult. So when the Bronze Age arrived in 1700 BC, it made cutting down areas of woodland a lot easier for people. However, there were still hundreds and hundreds of trees left, and the Bronze Age couldn't do anything about them. However, when the Iron Age Celts arrived in 400 BC, they increased deforestation and upped farming and city life. By 1000 AD, it was estimated that only 20% of the forest remain on Great Britain and Ireland, and England was even less due to its massive expansion needing for farming in cities. This expanse continued as the need for timber and space increased. However, the trees were determined and only differed in detail from what they were 650 years before. Due to the usage of coal in the 19th century, and the fact that the countryside could now access it through the means of railways and canals means wood was replaced as a fuel source. And later metal and plastic replaced it as well for use in buildings. By the 20th century, only 5% of the UK and 1.5% of Ireland were covered in trees. However, due to World War I and restoration efforts, that number is now up to 13%, or 3.25 million hectares. This regrowth is an excellent thing for the UK as it helped with pollution, mental health, and habitat regrowth. The forest is a wonderful place to take your forest school sessions and is a beautiful area. Thank you all for watching and I hope you enjoyed.